my dear students first i'll discuss a shortcut method shortcut method explanation and then i'll discuss how we have created the shortcut and have the, i will discuss two examples so that you can apply on this shortcut and get the answer so first of all shortcut explanation of this concept here the concept is said to be the null points or it is also called as neutral points what do you mean by this null point and neutral point see this is a charge q1 that is a charge q2 then what happens here uh, there is one point in between these two charges that point is said to be null point what is the meaning of null point null point means the point where the net electric field intensity is going to be zero or the electric field intensity because the first charge at this point is counterbalanced by the electric field intensity of the second charge at that particular point that is called as a null point so here let us imagine this distance is taken as x and this remaining distance is taken as d minus x because from here to here it is taken as d here then how can you find out uh, the null point from the smaller charge this is said to be the smaller charge this is taken as the bigger charge always null point can be found from the smaller charge so the formula for that is so electric field intensity because of first charge is counterbalanced by electric field intensity because of the second charge then here you all know the formula for electric field intensity is nothing but q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into x square from here to here it is x square and from that second charge that is taken as q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught into d minus x whole square it is d minus x whole square then 4 pi epsilon naught 4 pi epsilon naught gets cancelled then what is left it is q2 by x square is equal to uh, this q1 by x square it is q2 by d minus x whole square q1 by x square and q2 by d minus x whole square that's it so take this d minus x in the numerator by x whole square is equal to q2 by q1 so d minus x if you partially divide them you will be getting d by x minus 1 this square sent to that side it is going to be q2 by q1 therefore d by x is equal to square root of q2 by q1 plus 1 okay so if you make it reciprocal x by d is equal to 1 by square root of q2 by q1 plus 1 and our aim is to find out what is x therefore x is nothing but this d if you send here it is going to be q2 by q1 plus 1 if both the charges are same that means this is positive and this is positive you will get positive at this place okay and if this is positive and this is negative for example you will get minus here that is the concept here now so therefore in general we can write in general we can write x is equal to distance divided by square root of bigger charge by smaller charge plus r minus 1 plus r minus 1 okay Then, then what happens that means q2 should be always bigger charge bigger charge comes in the numerator and smaller charge comes in the denominator okay so plus you will get you will get plus when the charges are same you will get minus when the charges are opposite so this is a concept explanation next i'll discuss two shortcuts related to this topic my dear students let us see that there are the two charges given in the question it is given there are the two charges q and 16 q this is a smaller that is a larger one you have to find out the null point null point means neutral point neutral point means for example if you keep uh, some other charge here if you keep some other charge here it should be at the neutral position that means this is applying the force that is also applying the force the net force acting on that charge is going to be zero that is called as null point and it's also called as a neutral point how can you find out the neutral point let us imagine the distance here is x 
from the smaller charge from the smaller charge where is the null point the formula is x is equal to d by square root of q2 by q1 plus 1 this is going to be your shortcut formula what is the distance distance is between the two charges is going to be d and what is q2 q2 is nothing but 16 q by q1 is nothing but q and this is going to be plus 1 then your answer is going to be d this q q gets cancelled or root 16 is going to be 4 plus 1 so your answer is going to be d by 5 so here from the smaller charge this is the formula applied to get the point neutral point from the smaller charge and that is going to be d by 5 if we ask in the question the distance of neutral from uh, neutral point from the larger charge it's very easy that means you have to uh, find out d minus d by 5 because this distance is d and this is x which is taken as d by 5 from d if you remove this d by 5 you will get the remaining answer as 4d by 5 with this it is there the conclusion is from the smaller charge neutral point is going to be d by 5 from the larger charge neutral point is going to be 4d by 5 that's it so simple it is if you want one more problem one more problem you want you can just see one more problem is ready see here again if you consider a q and 4q there is one charge there is another charge this is q and this is 4q and the distance between them is d let us imagine this is going to be the neutral point okay so what is this this is going to be the neutral point and you have to find out the distance x from the neutral point from the smaller charge how are you going to find out the same formula you have to use what is that formula the distance of neutral point from the smaller charge is x is equal to d by square root of q2 q2 is nothing but 4q q1 is nothing but q and plus 1 q q gets cancelled d by 2 plus 1 that is d by 3